This is Irina. Welcome back to Tech Teach. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to click that bell button not to miss anything. Today we are going to discuss a really nice topic. I've been asked about this so many times. The question is, is it actually possible to have online classes just with the help of your cell phone. Of course it is. The things that you need to have are your mobile phone with good internet connection and some earphones. When there are too many people around you, well, you just won't be able to hear your student. You can probably start with the applications that are already installed on your phone. That can be WhatsApp, Viber, although the quality of the connection is not really good there. Then you can use Google Hangouts, you can use VK, why not? All these applications were made to chat, to communicate with a person. So probably these applications will help your students to develop writing and speaking skills. But if we want to create the atmosphere of a real class, of an offline class, we will definitely need the following application. Let's have a look. The application is called Zoom. It is available in App Store and Google Play. As I have already installed it, I just need to open it. And ta-da! The main page. So meet and chat, we will go here a bit later. Now we will go into settings, which is in the bottom right corner. At the top of the screen, you can see my profile, the information about me. In this section, it is possible to set your job title and location. But what is more important, if you have a fingerprint ID on your phone, it will also work for Zoom. So instead of uh, signing in with Google or Facebook, you will use your fingerprints. Then contacts. You can match your phone contacts with Zoom. Then meetings. You can mute your phone and turn off your video when you join a meeting. Then we go down. The most important function here is that you can show your connected time. It is especially useful when you have a class and uh, um, the time of your class will be shown right there in the window. Let's say you entered 15 minutes ago and this time will be shown right there. So you will be able to finish the class right on time. We go back. You can see that there are two tabs here, contacts and channels. Channels are basically the groups that you create. You can easily add a contact here by entering an email address and you can create a new channel. Then meetings. This is my personal meeting ID and meet and chat. We can uh, create a new meeting. Hello. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the following options. Mute, stop video, share the screen. This is the most interesting option. Share the screen. You can share a photo here, a document, your Dropbox or your Google Drive a document. You can share a URL, a bookmark, screen and a whiteboard. So if you share the screen, Zoom will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen and you can click start now or cancel. And you can share a whiteboard. When you open a whiteboard, you cannot see your student, but if you click start video, your student will be able to see you. And here you will be able to write anything you want. You can choose a pen, and start drawing something. You can click eraser, choose the color of the text, then choose the width of the lines. You can highlight something and you can delete. Clear my drawing, all drawings or others drawings. There is a possibility to save the whiteboard to an album or create a new one. 
we close the whiteboard now. Top share. Hello again. Then I would like to have a look at the participants because there is one more important option there chats. Here you can send messages to everyone or well, I am alone here right at the moment, but when you have students here, you will be able to send a message to a particular person. You can invite some other participants here by messaging, sending the link on Hangouts, on Gmail or uh, to your Zoom contacts. You can mute all the participants or unmute them. Close. If you click more, you will see some emojis here like applause and like and your student will be able to see this then you can turn your camera and or leave the meeting if you're working with a group of students you can leave the meeting and they will be able to communicate with each other for some more or end the meeting you can join the meeting by entering the meeting ID or you can join uh, with a personal link. You can schedule a meeting, uh, set the date, the time, the time zone, pay attention to this section if the meeting is repeated or not. So when you schedule a meeting, I think that there is no need to use another password because the students will already have a link to join the meeting so mm, that's just something that we don't need and we can add this meeting to the calendar so that the invitation will be sent to our students or you can simply share the screen if we click a star we will see contact requests and the files that we have sent to our students. That's it. Uh, the next thing that we need to do when we start working online is basically to have a decent internet connection. What do we do now is we go to Google Chrome and we check our internet connection. You can either do that on yandex.ru internet and you can test the internet speed. Congratulations, you're online. Or you can go to speedtest.net and you can download the application. Although the upload speed seems a bit low, but even with these characteristics, the connection was not breaking up. To sum up, to have a phone, the app and a decent internet connection seems pretty easy, but I should mention some pitfalls here. First of all, make sure to have a phone holder with you. The day I was filming the video that I'm gonna show you, I left it at home and had to create something to make the picture of me stable. Also, you need to prepare everything in advance. Send the link to the videos, to the audios, to games, whatever it is. Because it's not really comfortable to switch from one window to another one on the phone. And at that particular moment, when you go from one place to another, your student won't be able to see you. And uh, at this moment, students, some students of mine, start to panic. <laughs> Just think about these words, but don't tell me. Two words. Mm -hmm. Now, can you please go to Vkontakte? I sent you a link there to a YouTube video. And there you will see a short video with the dice. With the dice. So the picture will be constantly changing. When you stop the video, there will be um, the instructions for you. What should you do with these word? Huh? What do you have there? Draw it. Okay. Now we go to our whiteboard. Can you please share the screen? Share whiteboard. And can you please draw the first word? This is it, guys. I'm sure when you start working online with your mobile phone, you'll have a lot of questions. Don't be shy. Please leave them in the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel not to miss our next videos. One of them will be about Zoom for your laptop, for your computer. And I'll share my ideas for online classes there as well. See you soon.